Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Nora Tape. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit of always pondering on what is right and on hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther took refuge with the Lord in the mortal peril which he had overtaken her. She besought the Lord God of Israel in these words. My Lord, our King, the only one, come to my help for I am alone and I have no helper but you and I'm about to take my life in my hands. I've been taught from my earliest years in the bosom of my family, that you, Lord, chose Israel out of all the nations and our ancestors out of all the peoples of old times to be your heritage forever, and that you have treated them as you promised. Remember, Lord, reveal yourself in the time of our distress. As for me, give me courage, King of gods and master of all power, Put a persuasive word in my mouth when I face the lion. Change his feelings into hatred for our enemy, that the latter and all like him may be brought to their end. As for ourselves, save us by your hand and come to my help, for I am alone and have no one but you, Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Before the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. On, On the, the day, day I, I called, called you, you answered, answered me, me, O Lord. Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all ever anew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. On, On the, the day, day I, I called, called, you answered, answered me, O Lord. Lord. You stretch out your hands and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. On, On the, the day, day I, I called, called, you answered, answered me, O Lord. Lord. Please stand to greet the gospel. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. Now, now, it is the Lord who speaks. Come back to me with all your heart, for I am all tenderness and compassion. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For the one who asks always receives. The one who searches always finds. The one who knocks will always have the door open to him. Is there a man among you who would hand his son a stone when he asks for bread? Or would hand him a snake when he asks for a fish? If you then who are evil know how to give your children what is good, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So always treat others as you would like them to treat you. That is the meaning of the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Esther was a secret Jewish, Jewess, married to the pagan king as Ahasuerus. And when her people were threatened with destruction, she took the risk of going to her husband to plead on their behalf. She knew that this could cost her very life, yet to stay in her comfortable ivory tower while her people were killed would make her feel guilty. Her uncle Mordecai persuaded her to take courage and beg the king to spare her Jewish people. But Esther prayed about it. She said, my Lord, you alone are God. Help me, for I have no help but you. And God intervened to save her people from mortal danger. Times of crisis can lead us to more earnest prayer. Prayer in this spirit is powerful because we are in touch with the best part of ourselves and with the loving creator who called us into life and holds our future in his hands. The gospel today asks us to trust God unconditionally. We must trust him and hand over our lives into his care. Where are we to, what are we to seek? What should we ask for? Ultimately, we should want what God wants and open ourselves to all that he gives us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be merciful, O Lord, to those who approach you in supplication, and accepting the oblations and prayers of your people, turn the hearts of all towards you. 
through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the eyes. As I see you comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the eyes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not in the empty. Deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. 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 Body of 